G'day there and welcome to another Minecraft Edu tutorial. This tutorial is going to teach you about the basics of this stuff here called redstone. Um, there are a couple of ways you can generate redstone signals. You can do it with torches. Wooden pressure plates will do it when you drop things on them. Or when you stand on them. Stone pressure plates will only generate a redstone signal when a player or other um, mob stands on them, so mob being uh, entity, um, you can generate redstone signals from buttons and also from levers. So the differences are a redstone torch will always power a redstone line, pressure plates will only power when you're touching them or when something is touching them. Buttons are on then off so you'll see it go on then off and switches are on or off. So they're the, they're the ways you can generate a redstone signal the easy ways to generate a redstone signal. One of the first things you may need to know how to do is how to invert a redstone signal. So for example if I wanted to turn something over here on um, so let's get a piston so for instance if I wanted to power this piston when this torch goes off then I need to invert the signal so at the moment this redstone wire runs into this block here which powers this block which turns this redstone torch off so if I stop the power getting to this redstone block here the power this torch will turn on and light up this redstone wire which will in turn power that piston so if I knock this torch out so that we can see the piston you'll see it will fire and then when I put the redstone back on it'll stop firing so that's that's um, inverting the signal. Uh, 1.0 seems to have a few redstone glitches I found today in my classroom. So what can you do with redstone? Redstone signals will only travel 14 blocks. I'm not sure how many blocks that is but at some point along there redstone will stop. Looks like it's still going. So if I come off to the side here and instead of that I'm going to put down a lever so that we can see. So that's on. So you can see the redstone lighting is slowly getting duller and duller and duller till here. So that's 14 blocks. I can extend the redstone signal using what's called a repeater. So that's that item there. Um, and that's got actually a one, what's called a one torch delay. You can adjust the delay up to four torches. Um, that's more advanced so we won't worry about that but if you want to send a, red, a redstone signal more than 14 blocks away you can use a repeater. Your other option is you actually use an inversion like I showed you before. So uh, we'll run that way. So the problem with that it lies in the fact that you will need another redstone torch. So it's much easier. So you can see that that will actually trigger. If I flick that lever, that wire will go off also. So that's the two ways you can extend a signal past 14. The by far the easiest is just using a repeater. Oops. So a repeater here will extend that signal another 14 blocks. Um, that's pretty much the basics of redstone except for what they can power. So you can see you can power um, pistons. So there are two types of pistons. There are pistons like that which will push blocks. So if I power that piston you'll see it'll push those blocks. It'll push blocks up to 12 uh, blocks and then the pistons don't bring the, the that block back with them. There is another type of piston 
called a sticky piston and that will bring blocks back with it. So if I lay that there and then power that piston you'll see it'll extend and when I put the torch back on so it retracts it'll actually pull that block with it. It will not pull a second block but it will pull that first block back with it. The other things you can trigger are doors. Um, iron doors are the, can only be opened using redstone or pressure plates. Um, so iron door, stand on it and the door will open. Wooden pressure plates. Um, wooden doors are the same, you can open them with pressure plates as well. Um, what else is there? There is trap doors I'm pretty sure can be opened um, using them and I think that's about it. You can power mine carts um, using redstone, using um, Speaking of minecarts, I'll show you the minecart generation. Although I've found minecarts don't work very well in um, in Edu, uh, the easiest way. You've got what's called powered rails, so they're the golden ones there, and then this is what's called a detector rail. So if I get some redstone, redstone dust if a mine cart goes over the top of that ray, over the top of that you'll see it'll actually send a redstone signal and it will also send a redstone signal to the track so that track is being powered by that particular cart being on that redstone and these powered tracks drive carts along quite far um, but as I said I've, found, I've had a bit of trouble with um, mine carts and redstone in, in uh, multiplayer 1.0.0 servers so um, you might want to stay away from from minecarts for now. Um, that pretty much sums up the basics of redstone um, so keep you tuned for the next one where we'll talk about how to use redstone to um, get, get kids to answer questions or get responses from kids. Um, thanks for watching, see you next time.